In this video, we show you possibilities for automated sample preparation. This is an excerpt of an online seminar from January 2023. In our YouTube playlist, you will find more automated workflows, as well as an overview of possibilities to automate your own sample preparation workflow. Yeah, now uh, let me come uh, to one last topic. So um, I started with with a couple of applications where we only automated one one part of the um, sample prep uh, for the for the cannabis. We already uh, automated more or less everything of the workflow. And in this case, um, in the oil and fat analysis, we also can automate um, yeah completely from the start. So we are looking for three monochloropropanediol and glycidol in fats and oils. This is also a very prominent topic in the last years. Um, 3-MCBD esters and glycidol esters are processed contaminants in, in edible oils and fats. And um, in the human body, when we eat uh, the fat, they are cleaved uh, to, to form the free compounds 3-MCPD, 2-MCPD and glycidol. And glycidol is um, yeah, a probable human carcinogen and 3-MCPD a possible um, human carcinogen. So there's a need to control these uh, compounds in fats and oils and also fat containing foodstuff. There are many standards and, and norms nowadays um, which describe uh, methods for um, 3-MCPD and glycidol determination. Um, they all rely more or less on a, on a similar principle, sample preparation principle. First of all, the uh, esters need to be cleaved, so the fats and also these glycidol and 3-MCPD esters. Do a transesterification to get uh, rid of the fatty acids. Then uh, a transformation is done from the glycidol to uh, a 3-MXPD and um, the fatty acids, the FAMES now, they are extracted and removed and also the analytes uh, are extracted and then they need to be divertized for, for later GCMS or GCMS MS determination. So that sounds already quite complex um, and it really is. So here are from one norm, we have just listed up all these different um, yeah, pipetting and preparation steps. So this is re really difficult to do manually. You can do it, but it is a lot of effort. And in this case, automation is, is highly recommended. And we have realized this uh, on, on such a workstation here, or preferentially we use um, an online cupping to a GCMS or GC triple quad. And uh, we translated this AOCS uh, method to automation. Also, as I said, there are different, very different norms out. Also, we worked on this zwagermann overman method, which can be automated now. And this AO AOCS um, uh, A method and also the AOCS B method is possible. Follow the link to watch the whole online seminar.